But the day tomorrow is what we're really looking at. A significant risk for severe weather as you head north of I-59. Right along I-59, we're looking at enhanced risk for severe storms. And there's still a slight risk as you head further to the south down toward Montgomery and Auburn. And with all of this, we could be seeing the potential for some tornadoes, hail, and damaging winds. This is a setup where we're not looking at just a squall line coming through, but rather we'll be seeing several different opportunities for some supercell thunderstorms to make their way across the state as we go through the afternoon and evening hours into the overnight Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. So be prepared for some severe weather throughout the day tomorrow. Uh, keep your eye on the sky and keep it tuned here as well. Those main threats are at the moderate level for us in terms of tornado, hail, wind, and as well for flooding. We've seen rain already, plenty of it this week, and we're going to see more as we head through the day tomorrow and into the rest of the work week into next weekend, which means we could be dealing with some flash flooding on top of any other type of severe weather that arrives during the day, afternoon, and evening hours tomorrow. So be prepared for that. Futurecast shows us dry as we go into the early evening hours, and then that rain pushes in during the overnight hours, and that rain will stick with us throughout the day tomorrow. By 12 p.m., I think we'll start to see uh, the rain turn into more thunderstorms, and some of these could be strong to severe. So keep it tuned to WVUA, and we'll keep you updated both here on live television as well as on the uh, internet. We have our website, Twitter, Facebook, all of that will be updated as we go through the day tomorrow. The rain showers and thunderstorms could be on the strong to severe side. Again, that continues into the evening hours tomorrow night and into the overnight hours Wednesday night into early Christmas Eve morning. That cold front will turn into a, turn, into a stationary front and begin to move back to the north, meaning we're going to stay on the warm side of it, meaning we can still have showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening hours on Thursday Thursday as well. Not much of a significant severe weather risk for us, but we'll still see those showers and thunderstorms continuing into the day on Christmas as well. So no snow, no white Christmas. We're just going to be dealing with severe thunderstorms tomorrow and rain after that point. As we head through the overnight hours tonight, that rain will move back into the area. 62 rainy and humid conditions for us tonight. Tomorrow, again, is that severe weather risk. 75 degrees, very balmy and sultry conditions for us tomorrow afternoon with strong to severe storms during the afternoon hours and into the evening and overnight as well. That's why we have the stormy logo there for Wednesday into Thursday. Temperatures still very warm balmy conditions as we head into Christmas Day with a slight chance for showers continuing into the day on Christmas. Heading into the rest of the weekend, we've got warm conditions continuing before another cold front arrives Monday, and that should finally bring us more seasonable temperatures and the return of sunshine. Well, we've that will it. be nice. In the meantime, we're looking at the very least at a messy Christmas. And Peter, what would you, what would be your advice to the folks that are watching and they're trying to figure out if they're, if they need to travel? There's a, a lot of uh, sticky situations in households right now as we try to figure out how do we make all this work? That's yeah. right. Wednesday is a big travel day. It's mm -hmm. the last working day before the holiday for many people. And so if you are making plans it may be a better decision to go tonight or to wait until Christmas Eve as really the much of the daytime hours for tomorrow into the overnight are going to be a little bit dangerous, both in terms of severe mm -hmm. weather. But, you know, if you're out on the roads and it's pouring rain, it's not easy to drive in. It's stressful. Go ahead and just either do it now tonight mm -hmm. or wait until Christmas Eve.